Hello everyone, this is part 3 of Drizzle Warm series. In today's video, we are going to see how we can update the Drizzle version and then make some changes in dvd.ts file. Also, how we can use unique chain function instead of manual unique indexes. And finally, we are going to see how we can define one to one relationship because in previous videos we have seen a one to many relationship as well as many to many relationship. So, in today's video, we are going to see how to define one to one relationship. Okay, so before getting started. So if you see uh, in our TS config we have an error. So let's fix that first. Okay, so you see there is a types colon uh, node something like that. So you just need to remove this line. So then this will fix the issue. Okay. So now um, first of all we are going to see how we can update the result version. So for that if you go to package rotation file, so our current result version is 18.0 and result ORM. Uh, is uh, 26.1 I mean current kit is 18.0 and ORM is 26.1 okay so now if you go to the drizzle github this is the ORM so if you click on text then releases you'll see the latest version is 0.28.1 you can actually read here like all the changes they have done all the improvement they have done all the bugs they have fixed okay. so let's update the latest version for that what we can do uh, we can do pnpm i then result rm at latest we do that you can see it's updated to 28.2 which is the latest version and now let's update the uh, result kit also And this is a depth dependency so uh, if and d so yeah so we are done with the result kit version also after that you can see there is some error so that's fine so what you can do just reload you can press ctrl shift p to find this thing and then search for reload window just to make sure we have like all the types script reloaded so after that what we need to do so this is done but then we made we need to make some changes in the db we need to set a mode as we are using mysql this is only for mysql not for uh, postgres or any other database so mysql is a result so we'll pass a object here so here we will pass a mode and the mode would be two types so my default or plain scale so if you are using mysql and using a planet scale as your database service that time you, you will uh, set the mode as planet scale, but if you are using MySQL, normal MySQL 2, that time you will use default. So, that is the thing. After that, and this is actually required for doing that uh, relational query. So, let us uh, we will do that. That's why we just set it up. Yeah, okay. After that, there is an improvement in the indexes, unique indexes. So, if you see in our user schema, so our email is unique, right. So how we have defined the unique email? So we define a um, unique index here manually, right? So instead of doing this way, we can actually simplify this now. So we can just here say unique, okay? Chain function unique after worker, and we don't need this thing now. So this will be automatically implemented, okay? So this is one. We don't need this also. And the same thing maybe we have in some other places, so we'll do the same. We check. So yeah, so yeah, slug is unique. So let's put top and make it unique. Remove the slug from here. I mean both of them will work, but this is the short end version. Yeah, so we are done with that changes so this is done now uh, we are going to see how we can define a one-to-one -one relationship for that we will take an example of like one user will have one profile how this will work let me show you so in the user schema let's say uh, we have this user and this user uh, have like some kind of address or any other information we want to store in separate table so that time we will use like one-to-one uh, -one relationship between this user table and the profile table so let's define that Let's define in the same file. Put 
so we could call it export const user profile schema mysql table table name could be user profile and just copy the id so this will be the same and then this will be this will contain the user id uh, which belongs to this profile so user id called barkar user underscore id length is same 50 and this would be non-nullable and also this will be unique because uh, this user id only belongs to single user this profile will be um, only belongs to single user that's why it will be unique after that we will do the reference user schema dot uh, id so you can do it this way or you can just write this way also like this okay so you can just write in one line or you can do like this okay after that you can just put some extra um, uh, information uh, let's say we can say like facebook url as a barker here we can say facebook url then could be 200 also non nullable then we can say github url so this way you can put some extra information here also let's maybe address okay so this is how actually we will define one to one relationship between two tables so user table and user profile table okay so yeah that's it for today's video in the next video we are going to see how the digital relationship works uh, i was supposed to do that uh, in today's video but uh, i thought uh, let's define this one to one relationship first because we haven't uh, defined this but we define rest like one to many and uh, many to many so that's why i just want to cover this one first okay so see you in the next video thank you and if you like the video please share the video also like and subscribe to my channel okay thank you everyone if you are new to my channel feel free to subscribe and press the bell icon to get notified for new videos it will help me to grow also it will encourage me to create more videos like this so see you in the next video